feeling a little bit stuck, not having that inspiration, not knowing what to do next with your music, well, I have a fantastic little trick that you can try right away. Hi there, this is Sound with Second Tier Sound. Really nice to see you here. As you can hear and maybe see, is that I'm still quite sick. I caught pneumonia, but I got a lot of medication and I'm much better, so don't you worry. It's just that it will take a little while before I'm completely normal. Anyway, you can always support me if you want to see more of these videos. You can subscribe, hit the like button, write a comment, share the videos. You can also become a patron or pay me a coffee or the best thing, buy my course, because that's the way you support me, but also you get a lot back from me. Anyway, let's get on with this video. A lot of people, they sometimes have this idea that they just need to create music from scratch. You know, they have all these tools and just create. But the fact is that most of us never really do that. Most of what we do is because we're inspired by something. Maybe our loved ones or art or music or nature or anything like that. So having that in mind, keeping that in mind, let's use that idea. Let's steal something else with an interesting tool that is called Pulse X Stretch, a free tool that you maybe have heard of before, but maybe you haven't tried it in this way. Open up your favorite browser and type in this address or search for Pulse X Stretch. Hit enter, and then you eventually, hopefully, end up at this page. Go directly to download, and then obviously download the version that is right for you. I'm going to download the Windows version. Now, I've already done that, obviously, to save some time. So here it is. Just wanted to mention something, though. There is a standalone version, the one I'm using now, and there is also a plug-in version for your DAW. But I'm too stupid to make the plug-in version work in my DAW. If you're smarter than me, you can always let me know how to do it in the comments. But the standalone version works really well. It's all you need. So what you do is that you show the browser, you load the file you're interested in, this one in this case, hide it again, and here we are. Now, I could play it now and nothing will sound different, but I don't want to do that because this is actually not my song and I don't want to YouTube to get angry with me. So I could actually move this slider up and down to get a faster or slower effect. But to really get that nice pad effect that Paul Stretch is so famous for, you really should click on this one, Stretch Amount. And now you can move it up and down if it's down there, it's just stretched as little as possible. Sounds pretty similar to original, but let's go up to eight again. Let's listen to what this sounds like. And so on. Now, I know there are some really clever people out there. So if you figure out what this song is, feel free to write it in the comments. So that's basically it. You can always play around with the other controls if you want to, and then you can render the file. So the whole point is to create something that inspires you from the original audio. But do use the same structure as the original audio. The harmony, the length, the dynamic, and all that. And then build something on top. You can include the original audio in the end or not. But your instruments can be voice, orchestra, guitars, synthesizers, anything you like. It doesn't really matter. Just do what inspires you. I've added quite a few things. I've started with strings and laid out the harmony and what I wanted to do with it. And then I felt like I'll need some brass to get some texture, some bigger sounds, and then wind patterns on top of there. A little bit of string patterns as well. Cymbals, timpani at the end. Choir was really nice texture and a harp, love that. And I also have some textures from Arcus. So this is more of a texture landscape. Sometimes when you create these texture landscapes, you don't really know what to do. How should I evolve? What should I do? Now I just followed the original audio and I just got inspired in terms of what I should do next. Let's just actually turn off the original audio and see what this sounds like from the beginning.
I hope you enjoyed this creative little trick and that inspired you to go and try something right away. Maybe you've done something similar in the past or you have an even better idea. So please share with us in the comments. Now, another thing you can do is to actually take the song you create and put it through Paul Stretch one more time to create a really long, slowly evolving landscape. In fact, the sound you hear in the background of this video is exactly that. But that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. You can show your appreciation by, you know, sharing the video or hitting the like and subscribe and all that. Anyway, until next time, I hope you write a lot of music and take care.